Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen and today with a Sharkoon gaming keyboard which is the Skylar SGK30. I will leave a link down below which is a keyboard that in terms of price to quality it's in my opinion really nice. It has all these RGBs controlled with the keys and with the software that I will show you in just a few moments and I also have this uh, mat right over here, gaming mat with RGB, which looks really awesome. Actually, I'm enjoying it so much that once I finish this review, this mat will replace my main mat right over here. This is the biggest size. I will also leave a link down below. It is 90 centimeters by 43 centimeters, more or less, but you can check that on the specifications. Now, in terms of the keyboard itself, first of all, it is light, it is well built and comfortable to use. And I would say that in terms of build quality, it will handle some angry players that when they lose a game or when they get shot, they will blame it on the keyboard. So this is one tough keyboard, which I do imagine unless you use a hammer, this will last for a long time. So putting build quality and the construction materials, how it looks, all the features, comparing it with the price, I do believe that we get a lot more than what we pay for, which is really, really nice. It is comfortable to use and it has all these LEDs. And to show you a little bit better, what I'm going to do is to turn off one of these lights right over here, but not that one, and probably this one, so that you can see a little bit better right over here. Now, here will be dark, but just have that in mind, and probably you can see a little bit better this uh, gaming mouse pad right over here. And if you want to take a better look at it, probably with some images that you already have seen. But if you keep on coming to the channel, you will start from now on seeing it right over here with these LEDs, which are really nice. Then we have a small button right up here that we can change uh, color. And that is just awesome. Now, taking a look at the keyboard, there are the normal keys. This is the Portuguese layout, but you have some layouts available and you can check that on the Sharkoon website, which I will also leave down below. And in terms of the keys itself, besides all the functions that you will have to read right over there, I want to show you the LEDs that we can control right over here. Now, there is one magic key, which is the Skylar key right over here. And if I press it and press L1, for example, we will have um, one animation. If I press L2, we will have another. Actually, each key that we have right over here, L1 till L6, each one of these has three different effects. So we will cycle between these effects. This one is something that, yeah, when we press BAM, gives this really nice effect. This one gives a softer effect. So we can swap like this without the software and we will take a look at the software in just a few moments uh, but we will have a lot of effects right over here now besides the effects and probably this is a good example we also have the intensity that we can just uh, change right over here and pressing the Skylar key and then BAM which looks really really nice and besides that we also have the uh, intensity or the speed of the animation which is right over here on this minus and plus sign probably this is not the best example but this one right over here where I can slow it down and I can uh, fasten it up to the maximum and there we go really easy to use besides all the other function keys that once again you'll have to read now if we look at the display of my computer right over here actually my kids computer so but what we can see right over here first of all is that we can have up to 20 profiles of games and each profile we can customize the keys the way that they function and also the LEDs so if I go to profile one which I've been playing around with it and uh, actually at this moment probably it's assuming what I've done right now yeah probably did uh, but if I go to the number three which is game three by the way in Portuguese that is a completely different setup in terms of keys and in terms of the lightning. If I go to game two, it also has a different setup right over here. Now, one thing that I would like to show you is if I go to profile one and if I go to key assignments, I already have um, a choice right over here of three letters. So L, Y and D. 
each one of these will make different things that it were configured initially to do only a D for example or a R which usually it's just the R but I can say a R from now on when I'm on profile one what you are going to do is for example a multimedia key and on that multimedia key I want to play and pause so I can have a setup just for music I can have a setup just for game Battlefield 2042 a profile for just World of Warcraft and each of those games I will have assigned a different kind of keys that I can use to improve my game or to improve certain tasks that I do. I said music, but it can be video editing, it can be photo editing, it can be a lot of stuff that we can do. Now on the menu right over here, we have uh, some files that we can export, we can um, copy the profile, we can reset, delete, and this one right over here is the import. So I can export profiles, save it somewhere else, and then when I want, I can import again, just in case I need to clean up my computer and I can change the names like I did right over here for these two and we can have up to 20 which is very useful I just need to open it up click on the profile that I want and start playing my game and then lastly here on the software we also have the macro manager where we can just record macros and if that's your thing then it's just easy you record the macro according to your profile once you need it just press it and it will run your macro and there's no point in having a dark environment anymore so here we are back so in conclusion guys what i can say is that in terms of size it is compact it is robust so i would say that unless you use a hammer it will handle those angry moments that sometimes players have it has a nice touch it's not a chiclet style keyboard like i have right over here this is the kind of keyboard that i use on a daily basis to type and so on and so forth but this i have to give to gamers which i'm not this is just an awesome experience and it's comfortable and the keys are strong i do feel my wrists comfortable enough right over here which is also really nice so overall having in mind once again the price and what we get i do believe that it's a good addition for someone that is looking to improve their gaming setup without having to spend a lot of money so probably you will be able to get a nice keyboard and a nice gaming mat without spending too much that being said hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you did so don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you guys on the next one